Hey guys, welcome back. So the biggest issue with the S22 Ultra is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and Exynos 2200. These CPUs are fine for normal usage, but when it comes to gaming performance, the Snapdragon variant is ahead of the Exynos. Although the 8 Gen 1 is also not very strong in heavy gaming due to the heating issues, now it looks like this single problem will also be removed from Samsung's flagship next year. So I'm gonna be sharing some exclusive details regarding the S22 Ultra CPU but before that if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So Qualcomm has recently announced the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 which looks like a stable and high performance processor and will be used for the Galaxy Z Fold series which are coming after a few months. And now Ice Universe says that Qualcomm's next powerful chipset is in testing phase which is looking quite promising. According to him the Snapdragon Dragon 8 Gen 2 is being tested right now and the initial benchmarks are very good. This new CPU is doing pretty well in energy efficiency which is better than the Snapdragon 888 8 Gen 1 and recently launched 8 Plus Gen 1. This means the S23 Ultra will have the lower battery drain compared to the S22 Ultra. ICE also says that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is looking so strong that there is no reason for Samsung to continue to develop newer Exynos chip because the power Power difference will be huge and even normal users will find this performance gap. Now some news regarding the next gen Exynos chip, Samsung has already started working on this CPU which could be called as Exynos 2300. Twitter user Roland says Samsung's next generation high-end CPU's codename is Quadra and also a few days back we saw the exact model number for Samsung's mid-range and flagship level CPU. So seems like the Exynos game is not yet dead for Samsung, companies still want to fight in the CPU market but as of now we don't really have much details about the performance gains which Exynos 2300 might bring. Anyways you guys let me know what do you feel about this in the comment section. Moving further, few weeks back Samsung announced its latest generation high speed storage which is the UFS 4.0. This will help to improve the speed of many devices like tablet, mobile phones and for some laptops. This new innovation will lead the flagship smartphones to another level. The difference of of read and write speeds for both the UFS 3.1 and UFS 4.0 is very huge and this massive difference is more than double. Now with the combination of UFS 4.0, LPDDR5 RAM and the newest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will make the S23 Ultra blazingly fast. So that is it in this video guys. These are the latest updates regarding the S23 Ultra. If you have any questions related to the smartphone, do let me know in the comment section. If you enjoy watching this video then do give it a thumbs up and and subscribe to this channel as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.